today my video is a request video. Now this is actually a special video because I'm going to do a blog post that goes with the video and I'm going to link that down below in the description. So, so today's video is going to be about hair care. Rather than tell you what I do um, with my hair because my hair is obviously not a template for how everybody else's hair is or should be. Um, I want to share just some tips with you on how you can take care of your hair that should apply to all hair types. You just kind of have to um, specialize it for your hair type. So when I say to let the natural oils penetrate, um, I basically mean don't overwash your hair. So when we're washing our hair too frequently, especially people who have curly hair, you're stripping your hair of its natural oils and you're not really giving it that time to nourish all of the hair. It's very important that you work with your hair and not against it. And I learned this in, I think, high school. Um, I was really working against my hair. I wanted my curly hair to be straight, like pin straight hair. And um, so I was using all these products trying to straighten it when what I should have been focusing on was um, using products that brought out my curls because using these products to try and straighten it, I'm like, oh, I hate my curls, they're not nice curls, but they weren't nice curls because I wasn't treating them with the right product. And when I started working with my hair, not only did I start using um, hair care products that were geared towards curly hair, but I also bought myself a diffuser and a diffuser is quite possibly the greatest thing you'll ever buy if you have curly or even wavy hair. Something else super important for healthy hair is obviously um, eating a nutritionally adequate diet. Now what does nutritionally adequate mean? Um, essentially you want to eat a well-balanced diet. You want to be getting um, fruits and vegetables, pulses, legumes, that kind of thing from all different sources. There are things that studies show are good directly for your hair. So say you feel like you're healthy overall, like you've got a great diet, whatever, but you feel like your hair is kind of lackluster. Um, there are things you can eat to kind of feed your hair while you're feeding your body. The number one thing is omega-3 and 6. Um, studies have shown, and I'm going to link these references in my blog post not below in the video so you got to check out the blog post if you want to see the references um they showed that over the course of six months in one study women um witnessed an improvement in their hair density and the reduction of hair loss and um that wasn't a placebo controlled study, but there was another study that was placebo controlled. This study was done over the course of 90 days. It was a randomized controlled um, trial and these women witnessed less hair loss. They witnessed more hair growth and they also re reported um, an improved quality of life. So it was kind of a self-perceived improved quality of life, but isn't that the goal is to feel better about yourself? Another supplement that you could consider taking if you want to strengthen your hair and keep it healthy is an iron supplement. Several studies have shown that um, a low iron status may be associated with hair loss and hair damage. The correction of these imbalances in these nutrients actually corrected the hair loss. It's also important that you pick products that are right for your hair. Like I explained earlier, you need to have products geared toward your hair type, not the hair you want to have. If you have curly hair and you want straight hair, you don't buy straight hair products. You buy products for the hair you have. Something else that I think kind of even, it slips my mind a lot is being mindful of how you wash your hair. Just wash around the scalp and remember that when you're rinsing out the shampoo, it will wash down into the rest of your hair for a quick second to kind of cleanse out anything you're worried about. I can't stress this enough. Condition your hair. Some people don't want to use conditioner because they think it'll weigh their hair down and that's fine but that just means you need to find a lighter conditioner. A conditioner that doesn't weigh your hair down but it still moisturizes. Conditioner is not only important for curly hair because we obviously need the extra moisture but conditioner, conditioner can improve the 
the look and the texture of your hair tenfold if you're using a good conditioner. It will increase the shine in your hair, it will reduce static, it will smooth all the little frizzies and flyaways, and it'll improve the strength of your hair. You need to use conditioner, you need to find a good conditioner, and I'm going to list a couple at the end of the video that I personally like. Something else I found interesting was using coconut on your hair. I know a lot of people use coconut on their hair, but I don't know if they really know what coconut actually does for their hair. Now I found this one study that compared coconut oil, mineral oil, and sunflower oil um, on participants' hair. Now women with um, both damaged and undamaged hair were studied, and they were testing for um, the amount of protein lost. Out of the three oils, only coconut oil used as a pre-wash and um, post-wash treatment actually reduced the amount of protein lost in the washing process. This is because coconut oil has an affinity for hair proteins. And because of its low molecular weight and straight linear chain, it's able to penetrate inside the hair shaft. This makes it a great option for nourishing your hair. So some people like to use it as like an overnight treatment, you know, put it in their hair like crazy, put like a bag over your head and sleep. Um, other people like to use it more sparingly, um, just a little bit, kind of working it into the ends just to keep them moisturized throughout the day because if you're using just a little bit, it's not greasy. Obviously, if you're caking it in your hair, it's going to be greasy. And I know everybody always says, you know, don't use heat on your hair, it's bad for your hair, but in reality we're all using heat on our hair. I mean, I use my straightener sometimes, I use my curling wand, I use my blow dryer. Like, just take care of your hair. That's all you have to do. Your hair is not going to react poorly to heat. You know, use a heat protecting spray if you need to, um, condition, um, you know, eat a nutritionally adequate diet, all that kind of stuff. If you're doing the right things with your hair, you're giving it lots of moisture and nourishment um, from the outside and you're feeding it from the inside, your hair is going to thrive even if you're using heat. So now I want to show you guys some of my products that I really like for my hair. Um, again, these are products that uh, I find work for my hair and because my hair is not your hair, um, I don't know what your hair needs. <laughs> So I'm just going to show you what I like and I'll tell you why I like it. Start off with um, Lush's I Love Juicy Shampoo. Um, as you can see, yeah, you can see I'm down here. So I mean, I've gone through quite a bit. It's a mango, papaya, kiwi, and pineapple shampoo to blast through grease and make oily hair soft and clean once more. This is the kind of shampoo that's gentle like I don't find that it dries my hair out at all and I have you know hair that's prone to being dry I don't find this dries my hair out at all I find it cleans my hair really really well now my absolute favorite conditioner veganese love the name lemon for shine seaweed for softness and herbal infusions for your scalp a fresh light conditioner for all hair types this stuff is super good like when I meant when I said you know finding a moisturizer that was or a, a conditioner that was really good for your hair this is the kind of thing you want to be buying because this stuff is super nourishing um, I even use a I don't know if it's close to but I use a tiny tiny bit when I'm done in the shower and I just work it through my hair as a kind of leave-in conditioner it's not heavy it's not greasy it just kind of keeps my hair nourished throughout the day also like the North American hemp company um, they have a good moisturizing shampoo and conditioner duo. I have both of them. I just grabbed the conditioner because, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, but again, I use this as a leave-in conditioner sometimes too. It just kind of whatever the mood strikes. I have both my conditioners in the shower and I grab whichever one I feel like. But again, yeah, this one's awesome. Restores your dry, brittle hair to silky smoothness with omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids. See? They know what it's about. For some added moisture, uh, if your hair is feeling especially dry, say you're not, you know, you're kind of lacking in the diet department or you haven't been conditioning deeply, um, it's good to do a hair mask. If you don't want to do coconut oil, I don't really like the smell of coconut oil. Um, you could do any old face mask, or 
hair mask, really. But I like the Jasmine and Henna Fluff Ease from Lush. Super good. Smells really nice. Mm. Good stuff. Um, rich butters and oils to improve the strength and condition of your hair. And it really does. Like, it's probably the most moisturizing thing I've ever put on my hair. And that's why it's almost empty. Something else you can do for your hair, curly, straight, wavy, whatever your hair type is, um, is use some argan oil. So this is just one of my little argan oils. I don't even know where I got this from, to be honest. Luxury. Oh, you know what? I think I got it last Christmas in like a hair care package my husband got me. Yes, that's what I did. Anyways, you just need a tiny, tiny bit. You work it through your wet hair and it just kind of keeps your hair really moisturized throughout the day and it kind of prevents any flyaways, stuff like that. Super good for your hair if you need a little bit of extra moisture. Now, if you are somebody like me with curls, um, my curls last about two days if I'm lucky. The first day that I shower is like perfect, it's fine, they're good, and then I go to bed and they're a little less perky and pretty the next day, but after that it's, it, they're gone. Like I need to put my hair up or I need to, you know, do something with it to make it salvageable. So I use the North American Hem Company, the Curl Activator and Reactivator. This is great for, um, Prior to using my diffuser, I will run this all through my hair, spray it, and scrunch my hair up kind of like this, like that. And after the second day of my hair being curly, and they're kind of falling, and they're looking all ucky, I'll use this as well. Because it's not like a hairspray, it doesn't make your hair all crunchy. Thank you guys for watching so much. You guys are the best. Thank you for requesting these videos. I love hearing from you guys on what you want to see makes me happy knowing that I'm doing something, I'm doing a video or a blog post or an Instagram post or whatever, that somebody is actually looking forward to seeing. If there's just one person out there who just wants to see the video, that makes me happy. So don't forget that this video is just kind of, um, almost like an introduction, I guess, to my blog post. So they go hand in hand. This uh, YouTube video has good information but all the best information is on the blog post so go check out the blog post i'm going to link it in the description don't forget to like if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel so that you can get all my wicked updates and thanks for watching i love you guys bye